Now, worried by some obnoxious laws that directly affect growth of business and ability of residents to live quality life, the People's Democratic Party candidate for Lagos East Senatorial District, Babatunde Badamosi, has faltered the recent Kama Act passed and signed into law. Badamosi, who stated this in a chat with newsmen on this quest to provide better representation to the people of the senatorial district, said any law passed that affects businesses affects Lagos more than any other state. While noting that the state is highly populated and generates huge amount of tax revenue collected by the federal government, he assures residents of stopping laws targeted at milking private sectors affecting the ability of the state to raise revenue. And anything, any law that is made that affects business in any way, shape or form affects Lagos more than any other part of the country. So things like the Kama Act were passed, laws like that were passed without due consideration of areas that depend to a large extent on the private sector for revenue. Because of course a city like Abuja would depend almost 100% on government for revenue because it's a civil service uh, uh, territory, as it were. And so it's the same for a lot of other states that are, uh, in my opinion, quite unviable. Okay? If the civil service were not present in those states, then they would be completely dead zones. The former governorship candidate of the Action Democratic Party also took a swipe at the Water Resources Bill and challenge of electricity tariff hike, which, according to him, does not belong to the book of modern country. He said the bill does not serve the interests of people of the country, adding that the electricity issue was caused by over-reliance on the national grid. Not just because I'm a member of the opposition, but because I'm an indigenous of Lagos State, a citizen of Nigeria, and a waterside dweller, practically, I am shocked that anybody could come up with a law like that that seeks to dispossess Nigerians, especially Nigerians that live around water, that seeks to punish us for daring to live around water. That kind of law does not belong on our law books, and that's the kind of law that I'm going to that National Assembly to stop from being passed. In addition to that, I'm looking at the electricity situation in Nigeria. It's a shame, it's a disgrace, it's a shambles, okay? I know that somebody at one point said that uh, any serious government will be able to fix the power problem within six months. Well, they've had their chance and it hasn't happened. Meanwhile, the Independent National Electoral Commission has scheduled October 31st for the senatorial by-election.